So I went outside, outside the bunker and, and around to the east side. And uh, there were two or three others. Kistiakowski was, was another one who went out and uh, went out, left the bunker and went out to get a good view of things. And of course, I had this piece of welding glass to cover my eyes with, <laughs> and which I've also kept as a memento of the, of the occasion. But you know, sprawled out on the ground with the glass tightly kept over my eyes. Um, uh, of course, initially I was looking away from, from the uh, tower, but uh, that enormous flash of light, of course, just uh, over overcomes any <laughs> lack of transparency in that welding glass, <laughs> and it's just a uh, such an it's the most surprising thing of all, a fantastic flash of light. And then, of course, you see the uh, the dust cloud and and uh, and the ball slowly rising off the ground and the famous mushroom cloud eventually. So I got up to get a, got up off the ground to get a better view of that and totally forgetting that the shock wave had yet to arrive. <laughs> so it might take only 30 microseconds for the for the light to arrive, but it takes about 30 seconds for the uh, for the shock wave to arrive. So I had plenty of time once I realized the shock wave had yet to arrive, I had plenty of time to get back down on the ground and, and uh, hear that fierce rumble, and first that blast and then the rumble of the sound off the nearby mountains, echoing off the mountains. And it's, 